the opening day at the K here in Kansas City, but today we're talking about hoops, at least for this period of time. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson takes us to Grandview High School, where the boys basketball team is celebrating their second straight state championship. The dog pound was packed at Grandview High School. The Bulldogs celebrated their back-to-back -back state championship win over St. Mary's. It feels great. I really can't even explain how, how good it feels, but two years in a row, not a lot of teams can do that. DeAndre Sorrells led the team with 26 points that game. Today, with the trophy held high, he led his team around the floor. These guys aren't just great basketball players, but they're they are good people and they're good leaders. And what I really like about them is that they listen to what we have to tell them, and, and not only do they listen to what they do. After losing some of his star seniors, work began in June for varsity head coach Reggie Morris. Based on what I saw that night in a summer league game, that if we continue to work, stay together, uh, we will have a great opportunity not only just to get back to Springfield, but to do something special. The team went 29 and 2 overall. Repeating the same phrase, Sorrell says Coach Morris inspired them all season. Our preparation determines our destination. That was, that's all he told us all year. Coaching and actions that led Morris to be awarded the Paul Lambert Coach of the Year Award for the second consecutive year. As the team was celebrated by their peers, they credit their successful season to the support they received at every game. And traveling two hours just to watch us play, that means so much to us. It opened my eyes. Like, it's, we, I, I think this is a great school and they show a lot of support for us. With only two starters returning next season, Coach Morris is optimistic. With a JV team coming back that was 21 and 0, I think we'll have a, again until February to get it figured out and I think we could be very, very tough by the end of February again and make another run. The class four state champs will be back in the gym this summer preparing for round three. In Grandview, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. And congratulations to